New update. AITA for kicking my son and his GF out? I am still not the original poster. That is you, Hot Wolverine 7330. She posted in R, Am I the asshole? New update marked with Trigger warning. Abandonment. Pregnancy complications. Less than. Mood spoiler. Frustrating. Less than. Original post. October 28, 2023. This situation has had me a bit confused so one of my neighbors suggested I post it here. I-55F have two children George 31 meters and Gabrielle 29F. Gabrielle recently got engaged and I am helping her plan the wedding in my spare time. Which the entire family is very excited for. Except for George. George recently divorced his wife of seven years. Susanna 28F after he said the spark had gone out. They have a set of twins together. Amy and Alice 6F. And are trying to set up a healthy co-parenting relationship. Susanna is a great mother to my grandkids and I was disappointed in George for giving up so fast on their relationship without even trying couples counseling. But it wasn't my business or place to say anything. The drama started when George brought his new girlfriend to dinner at my house. He met his girlfriend Bethany 25F through a work colleague and they have been dating for four months. At dinner Gabrielle and I were discussing flower arrangements and Bethany felt the need to ask George if he'd ever marry again. George coughed before replying that he'd have to think about it. Which Bethany seemed to deflate at. Well this caused Alice to cry about how she wants mommy and daddy to love each other again. George and Bethany just sat there while my granddaughter screamed. After I comforted Alice, I pulled George aside and asked if he was sure about Bethany, which he told me was none of my business. I told him it was my business who he invited into my home and my grandchildren's lives, since I've been caring for them in my spare time while he works. He and Susanna have 50-50 custody. George got angry and said it was Gabrielle's fault for mentioning weddings in the first place. I told him to stop acting like a child and to be happy for his sister. Then Bethany felt the need to insert herself and tell me that she and George were together no matter how much I liked his ex-wife. After that I was done with the conversation and asked them both to leave. George and Bethany stormed off, flipped me the bird and left my grandchildren at my house at 7 p.m. I had to call Susanna to collect the children since they had school in the morning and I was attending a cake tasting with Gabrielle the next day. I feel like I shouldn't have to tell my 31-year-old son to be happy for his sister or argue with a random woman whom I have never met before in my own home. So AITA? Relevant comments. George needs to pay for daycare for a while. The truth is George can't afford daycare with the child support and alimony he owes Susanna. I agreed to babysit my grandchildren as a favor to him. I love my grandkids, but I wish George would appreciate the thousands of dollars I'm saving him each month. Just quite watching them and he'll come crawling back. I would if I thought he could afford it. We might disagree but I don't want my son to be homeless. Maybe they need to rethink the custody agreement if he can't care for them. If Susanna took on more custody then George would owe her more child support which he's already struggling to afford. Plus it would mean that Susanna would have to work part-time hours which isn't really an option in her industry. Alice needs counseling. My husband and I have suggested that George pay for her to get some counseling but he keeps saying that he needs to save and can't afford it. What exactly were you asking when you asked if he was sure about Bethany? I was asking if it was really the right time to introduce her to the family. Since his daughters are still sensitive about the divorce and are trying to come to terms with it. I didn't ask him in the context of, is Bethany right for you? I meant it as in, are you sure this is the right time to introduce her? I didn't inherently dislike Bethany. 
But maybe it would have been better to introduce her to my grandkids after they've recovered from the divorce. Did George ask if he could bring Bethany beforehand? George asked me if Bethany could come 20 minutes before he was supposed to arrive. So it's not like I could say no at that point. Oop is voted NTA. Update. Same post. October 29th, 2023. Next day. I didn't expect this post to gain so much attention and I want to thank everyone who gave their honest opinions and helpful suggestions. This situation happened a few hours ago and I thought it right to make an update. Bethany came to my house to apologize for how she acted at dinner last week. She told me that she was two months pregnant and George had broken up with her after she told him. Because he has too much responsibility and didn't want to be in the baby's life. I then spent the better part of three hours talking with Bethany about the baby and what she wants. She says she wants to keep the baby even if George refuses to be in its life. And I told her that I would help with childcare if she needs it since she doesn't have any family that live nearby. Before I got angry with George the first thought I would call him and give him a chance to explain. George was angry that Bethany had shown up at my house and insisted that it wasn't his baby. I told him that he should get a paternity test and he asked me for $500 to cover it since he's struggling. I told George that he needs to figure it out himself since he's about to be a father of three and that he better step up and do right by his kids. George then hung up. Well two hours later I get a call from Susanna to say that George hadn't picked up the kids like he'd previously agreed to and could she drop them at my place because she had work. I agreed for her to drop Amy and Alice off and tried to call George again. I called 12 times and they all went to voice message. I don't know where George is and have called his place of employment to try to find out. However they refused to tell me anything. I've agreed to watch Amy and Alice until Wednesday and Susanna has reported this incident to CPS. I assume she plans to file for full custody and I can't blame her. Right now I'm worried that George has run off somewhere or done something irresponsible. I am disgusted and will not be doing him any favors in future unless he has a very good explanation and accepts some responsibility. This was hard to write but felt good to get off my chest thank you everyone for responding to my first post. Relevant comments. Heavily downvoted comment but I liked OOP's response. Commenter. Hey. Ah. You're disappointed in your son for giving up on his marriage so easily and I'll bet dollars too. Donuts that you and your DIL have been telling the twins that mommy and daddy are getting back together. I bet you ask your granddaughter to say something like that to help daddy realize that it would make everyone happy. You need to butt out of your children's personal lives get a damn hobby. Oop. You owe me quite a few donuts then since you're dead wrong. I'll poke my nose in my son's business when he's being an irresponsible parent and not taking accountability for his children. Bethany is pregnant. It's his time to have the twins and he's nowhere to be found. It just proves to me I should have made his personal life even more of my business. Alice caused drama and you exacerbated it by asking about Bethany. Alice is six years old. She hardly meant to cause drama, as you put it. She's a six-year-old little girl who doesn't understand why her parents no longer live together. I never asked George if he was sure about Bethany in the context of, is she the one? I meant it in the context of is he sure he's making the right choice to introduce her to the family. So soon. Since his own daughter clearly isn't ready to think of her dad marrying someone else yet. I don't care who George ends up dating but he has children to think about and my granddaughters. Need to come before any random woman he's been seeing for four months. New update post. December 19th, 2023. Okay so I made the original post about two months ago and since then things have been a bit crazy. Lately. 
So I just wanted to update as I had people asking if George was okay. In my first post people suggested I give George some space and time to figure things out as a recently divorced father but after he ran off around two months ago I ended up filing a missing persons report. I talked to George's workplace the day after I filed the report and they told me he had given his two weeks about a month ago. I then tried calling George again and he finally picked up. He told me he was okay but he had moved states and no longer wanted any contact with his children. Because it was all too much responsibility for him. I snapped at George and told him he couldn't just decide now he didn't want to be a father. Then George told me he never wanted kids in the first place and, those kids don't look anything like me anyway. George then told me to F off and hung up the call. After that I informed the police department what had happened to let them know George wasn't in any danger and that we knew his whereabouts. After that happened I just cried because I couldn't believe I had raised such a selfish person. Susanna has filed for full custody and George as far as I know is refusing to pay child support and will probably end up in jail at some point. Bethany is now four months pregnant and is having a boy. And George is the father. Somehow he managed to come up with the $500 so he will have to pay child support since he doesn't plan on being in the baby's life. Bethany moved into my home in November since she's had trouble doing things herself and her doctor says she's at risk of preeclampsia if she becomes too stressed during the pregnancy. In that time we have gotten closer and despite how our first meeting went I actually have come to like Bethany. Sorry this isn't the happy ending some of you were expecting. I have been following the advice I received from the first post and have not contacted George and he has not tried to contact me. I can only hope with time he pulls himself together and manages to step up as a father. Again thank you to everyone who gave helpful advice. I'm not sure if I will be updating further however. Relevant comments. I guess we can only hope George steps up. I'm sorry. Thank you. It's been hard for our family to cope with George being so irresponsible and I have been in and out of the hospital for the past two weeks due to the stress of the whole situation. I hope George steps up. Though he hasn't even sent Christmas gifts for his children. Definitely worth looking into therapy for yourself and family. My husband and I are looking into funding some family therapy and individual therapy for the twins. But we're waiting to see if our health insurance will cover it. Why does Bethany want to keep this pregnancy? Bethany is convinced that George will change his mind once the baby is born which I have tried to tell her probably won't be the case. But Bethany is convinced he will and no one can tell her otherwise. Good on Oop for treating the mothers of her grandchildren with dignity and kindness. And for prioritizing the well-being of her grandchildren. Anyone wanting to say that she was a bad person because of George's actions forgets that this is a 30-year-old man who was recently married and has allegedly been adulting for years. His actions. His behavior. His lack of responsibility are his fault. No one else's. He's a loser and I'm glad his mother will ensure that he is held accountable. God. That last paragraph. There's going to be so much drama if Bethany is that delusional. That she got pregnant four months into dating is a little worrying too. Hope the little one doesn't get caught in the crossfire. What a frustrating mess. Deadbeat parents are just selfish. Cowards and plain losers and George is definitely the definition of a deadbeat parent. I can't imagine how hard it must feel when you did your best to raise someone the best you could. Only for them to turn into selfish people. I am happy that Susanna got custody of the kids but it's still sad all around. Op sounds sweet and I wish for Op and the others for the best. Doesn't want the responsibility of children but refuses to either get snipped or keep his dick dry. I hope he steps barefoot on Legos for the rest of his life. 
Bethany is an idiot. He dumped the two living children he already has. Why does this dim bulb think he'll suddenly come around for her kid? Does George think moving to another state will keep him from owing child support? Why have unprotected sex if you never wanted kids? Why with a girlfriend of four months? Now he's got child support payments to two different women. I worry for OOP here. She says she has been in and out of hospital because of the stress and as much as I admire Roop for taking Bethany in, Bethany sounds very delusional about the whole situation and I'm not sure if this won't go awry sooner or later. After all, she only apologized for the initial issue at dinner once George had broken up with her and not before then, so she definitely has some personality traits which are less than desirable. Paired with her clearly still wanting to be with a horrible man. I don't know if she is a person I would want having to live in my home. Around my other grandkids and the like. She sounds like someone who might become being very entitled about having all this. Free. Help. For example. Did someone really call out the six-year-old for causing drama? For hoping her parents get back together? Really? Wow, I guess it takes all kinds in the world. I hope OPP has enough room to raise three kids and an ex-girlfriend for the next two decades. What a mess. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.